Hello everyone, I am Peter96er, the coach of your Maryland Mudkips, and today I'll be showing you guys the team that we bring you against Gazelle. We are 2-2, two and two, so I, we do need to win, I think, at least, at least two games to make the playoffs and three to guarantee our spot. Gazelle, uh, I know they're a good player. As week one, they actually got a 6-0, and they've been playing strong opponents. And I believe they are also 2-2, two and two, but they're a strong 2-2. Two and two. But before I get into the team and my opponent's team, I did make a trade. At the careful consideration, we decided to get rid of both Chi Yu and Jolteon, two Pokemon I was really excited to draft. Jolteon was a really good Terra captain, um, but it wasn't bulky. I needed, I wanted a more bulky Terra captain, and that's what Flygon gives me. And it wasn't as expensive as Jolteon, so Flygon was a lot better for me. So uh, with that being said, I think I've gotten everything. Let's get into my opponent's team. Uh, I am facing, uh, the Miami Luminions, Gazelle, and, uh, yeah, it's scary. He has a very, very, um, strong team with a lot of bulk. Um, I would say this team is kind of like the opposite of what I would like to draft. You know, I'm not saying that it's bad, it's just not really my play style, and, uh, I, I know it's kind of tough to face. Um, it's very, it's a bulky offense that also loves hazards. You can tell, um, so I think Quillfish is going to come to this game, and I think he could set up Toxic Spikes. And then, um, he has a lot of ways of getting rid of hazards. He has a big emphasis on hazards. Same thing with, like, Garchomp. It could be a hazard, uh, a hazard tank chomp, um, while also being offensive. So this team is very scary. Um, something that I think I wouldn't draft. But I know I will have a tough time against it because it's a strong player and it's a strong team. Let's get right into the team. Zamazenta with the heavy duty boots. As I said, I'm pretty scared of uh, hazards. And I don't really have the best removal as my only two removers are Excadrill and um, Cleavor because Cleavor does get the fog. But I'm not really a big fan of the, uh, the fog Cleavor and Excadrill isn't really good in this matchup. So I have 188 attack, 80 defense, and 104 special defense with 136 speed with a jolly nature. I should be able to outspeed everything. And after I think one or two iron defenses, I oku I oko most non-resist. Um that's with the 80 special defense. And then with 188 attack, I think I okoi oko noivern. If I'm correct, I think, or it's uh I oko non-bulky garchomp with ice fang one of the two but yeah a uh, pretty good coverage here especially with the stone edge and ice bang but body press is going to be able to clean up late game especially if he doesn't bring any choice scarfers zamazenta is going to be able to outspeed his entire team and do massive damage next pokemon i bring is cleavor this guy i have to get him into mvp race because cleavor is very strong and uh has some good stats besides that too of course i am running <laughs> Another heavy duty boots Pokemon um, with sharpness, um, 252 expect attack, um, stone axe and X scissor should be able to pick up good damage while also setting up hazards. Uh, U-turn and quick attack. I used U-turn because um, if Iron Hands is his lead, I have nothing to, to hit it with, like at all. Air slash off of 40 special attack is terrible, so I have really nothing for Iron Hands. So if Iron Hands is his lead, I'm gonna be able to use U-turn. Um, and Quick Attack is just because, um, he does have Terrapagos, and I do get outsped by Terrapagos, so if need be, I could Quick Attack the Terrapagos to break its Terra Shell, and then U-turn to switch out, and you, uh, Quick Attack in the end game is pretty strong here, especially since I have Max Attack. Next Pokemon I bring was Skeleturge. I bring one, uh, I, this is the first Pokemon that I bring from the new trade, and I think it's gonna be really strong. Um, it walls a lot of his team. Um, unaware with, um, uh, this guy's bulk is really good. Um, he can't use Garchomp effectively, because I can just kind of switch in. Slack off, Torch Song, Slack off, Torch Song, Slack off, Torch Song, will -O Um, it's very, very strong into his team. And, uh, Ghost is also, uh, has, I think, like, very few resists. 
and the Pokemon that do resist it gets hit by fire pretty well. But I'm excited to see what Skeletor is going to do. I think it's this is a really good uh, game to bring it. It has reliable recovery, and then plus Torch Song and Shadow Ball. Um, if the situation is right, I'm gonna be able to uh, get a sweep with Skeletor, but I don't think it's going to happen. Also, I do have 40 special attack. I have uh, 104 HP. 172 defense, 40 special attack, 252 special defense, 40 speed with the calm nature. 40 speed was, I believe, to outspeed Sinistra. Because uh, what I want is uh, if a Sinistra switches in, I torch on twice and I should be able to get the kill. And then with uh, the 40 special attack, I do. I am going to be able to 3 hit KO um, uh, max HP. I don't think max special defense. Um, Iron Hands with the three Torch Songs. So uh, that's pretty good. So let's get into the next Pokemon. Well, oh yeah, this guy has Heavy Duty Boots too. Three. So the next Pokemon I bring is my boss dip. And as you can tell, um, the item it's where it's using is Heavy Duty Boots. What a thought. Uh, I'm using a pretty um, not very used set by Mabostiff, and that is Home Claws, Ice Fang, Dig, and Crunch. Um, his team is very weak to Guard Dog Mabostiff. Um, what Guard Dog is, I can't be switched out, and if I am intimidated, instead of a minus one, I get plus one. And, uh, his two best answers that I think he could go for, um, against a Mabostiff, that I think he'll go for immediately, and, like, on site, what he would try to go for, is Intimidate with Overquill, which I shut down, and Dragon Tail with Garchomp, which I can't get switched out. And with um, Home Claws at plus two, Ice Fang uh, Oko's any type of Garchomp, unless it has a Yachi Berry, which I think is the Ice Resist Berry. So yeah, I have another Heavy Duty Boots item, because, uh, why not? And uh, let's get on to the next Pokemon. It's Spathra! It is time! Please, show how useful you are. I, I'm begging. People, um, if you don't know, uh, Season 1, I got MVP with this in the Showdown Division. Now, after Season 1, after I balled out with this Spathra, it has done nothing in the, in the league that I'm in. And since so many new people joined the league, they don't know how terrifying a Spathra could be on the right team. So it's getting fraud allegations. We need to stop this. I, I need a spot to, to pop off this game. And uh, I think it could. Of course, <laughs> another heavy duty boots. Five for five so far. Speed boost. I have enough HP and enough special defense to live max special attack um, sinister shadow ball. And that's with a modest nature. And then I have 28 special attack with a modest nature plus 156 speed. So I always outspeed Noivern, I think at plus one. But it might be plus two. I don't really remember. So I have Calm Mind, Protect, Stored Power, and Shadow Ball. I chose Shadow Ball because uh, he does have a Dark type, but it could Terastalize, which I think it might, even though it could not. Even then, I don't think a spot throw is ever breaking through Overcool anyways. So what's the point of having Dazzling Gleam if this never beats that? So yeah, uh, Calm Mind, Protect, Stored Power, Shadow Ball should be doing a pretty good late game sweeper. And now my next late game seeper is uh this guy right here, Flygon. Terra Steel Flygon is massive this game. My opponent, like my team, is very weak to Earthquake. And uh the two things that take Earthquake don't really like a Dragon Claw or a Terra Blast from Flygon. Now you caught me. I wasn't six for six on heavy duty boots, but I was five for six. Um, I'm running Chapelberry just so I could set up on Iron Hands potentially. Um, if I like get one Dragon Dance and their idea is to switch into Iron Hands on my Terra Steel, um, I can just Dragon Dance again and guarantee an Oko with Earthquake. And then I could just pretty much sweep his entire team because after that, Flygon goes to town. There's very few things that kind of deal with Flygon. One of them are his is. His uh, well baked body. His well baked body. What is it called again? Uh, it's Dox Bun. Dox Bun. It's high defense and it uh, it's immune to Dragon type moves. That's a little scary. But um, 
that's the team. You know, I think Flagon is really good into his team with uh, two Dragon Dances off. I Oko most of his Pokemon. I think Doxbun might not get Oko. If I'm running Max Attack, enough speed to outspeed, I think Noivern, again, but uh, Adamant Nature suggests to do as much damage as possible. So that's the team, and uh, I think my whole game plan going into this was um, I want boots, 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 and boots. The only reason why I don't have six boots is because Flygon has Levitate. And it resists Stealth Rock anyways, so hazards do like nothing to him. Now, you might be wondering, what is wrong with you? Because why do you have five of the same type? Why do you have five of the same item? That's because my team is pretty weak to hazards. And, knowing this, I want to create a game plan where, where it forces my opponent to use hazards. Because as you can tell, I'm immune to most of them. I'm immune to every single hazard. And, well, I'm immune to almost every single hazard besides um, Stealth Rock on Flygon. And he only has knockoff on one Pokemon, and that's Manaphy. And I don't think Manaphy, Manaphy likes running knockoff. So the plan is to have Cleavor start the game and my opponent to go something like Guard Chomp, and he's just like, what does this thing do to me? I can just set up hazards pretty free. Um, he brings only one Pokemon that could deal with hazards, and that is Cleavor, but I think he'll kind of guess that I won't bring hazards, and he'll be like, I mean, it's fine if he brings hazards, you know, um, then I just get to set up free on something, and he's gonna be able to set up hazards again. So I want him to just really, really use hazards a lot early game, realize mid game that those are just wasted turns, and at the end of the game, I want to sweep a Flygon or a Spothra, since his Spothra is immune to hazards, same thing, uh, well, mostly weak to hazards, uh, is Flygon. Um, I think Guard Dog Mabostiff is really good into his team, as I said, the two are really only answers to, like, um, the... Uh, amount of setup that I have. I have set up on one, two, three, four Pokemon, five if you count Skeleturge, uh, and that is um, Gart Chomp or Tank Chomp with Dragon Tail. Like I said before, um, Flygon is really good to his team. Um, I, he has a super effective attack on Jirachi, Overquill, um, what's that one? <laughs> the guy in the middle of the screen, Typhlosion. Um, Doxbun, Iron Hands, uh, Garchomp, Noivern, I just listed s seven of his Pokemon are weak to Flygon. Um, I think my team is really, really strong and well-equipped to handle this team. I am using a kind of risky strategy, because, you know, um, what if he just doesn't bring hazards? Then I'm kind of not looking good, because I just got five useless... I have five Pokemon with no, uh, items, basically. And I don't really think I'm gonna be able to keep Hazards up, because he has so much removal also. Like, he has Defog on Noivern, Rapid Spin on, uh, Terrapagos, which is a very strong Pokemon. So, uh, I don't think, um, setting up Stealth Rock like last game is as big as a, a deal as it is in the, you know, in this game. You know, it's just kind of like, oh, I get Chip on one thing for, like, one turn, which is fine. So yeah, um, I think a uh, Pokemon that I prepped hard for, that I think he is really good into my team, is Garchomp and Iron Hands. Iron Hands, it's really bulky, um, with the right set, it could counter each one of my Pokemon, basically. And uh, Garchomp, it's just a, a really strong Pokemon, it could do a lot, so you kind of have to be prepared for each set it is. So, um, that's the team builder, and uh, I think I'll just... Head over to future me with the battle. All right. Hello, everybody. I am Kid96, the coach of your million mudkips, and I'll be. This is the battle versus Gazelle, and uh, he brought, I think, almost everybody that I think he would bring. That thing is fine for me, because while they are very threatening, I think I'm fine with it, and I think I'm because. I'm just gonna start with um, Cleavor. I think I'm fine with Overquill. Cause uh, 
take out speed non like speedy overquill and he didn't bring um he didn't bring um jirachi which i think is pretty good for me and uh like uh spencer looks pretty good here as long as that's not uh air balloon overquill so i think i just want to get rocks up early and i think i want to see him um go overquill immediately because i'm fine with that i want him to uh think that he's he's kind of safe uh stone axe into u-turn should be pretty good here i think he will go overquill he goes Garchomp. Now, what type of set is this Garchomp? What do we do? Okay, I think this might be Tank Chomp. If this is Tank Chomp, we go Rosé, definitely. After the Stone Axe, because I want to get uh, Stealth Arcs up first. As I think Terrapagos is going to U-turn, but that's fine. I think he's gonna set up Stealth Rock or Spikes. I'm fine with that. That's a good trade for me. Press a Scale Shot. Oh! We live this. Even five times. We live that. Oh. We get... It's rough. Um, so this is Offensive Guard Chomp. And this is unboosted, too. So, I think we're gonna go Rosé here. Right? Uh... What moves could Garchomp learn? I'll, I'll check this real quick. Yeah, I'm not really scared. What he could do. I think I'd just go Rosé. We definitely live two hits from this, because especially since it's unboosted. Yeah. Uh, another five hit, too. Um, it outspeeds. But, I think we're fine. Um, I think I should probably check if body press kills from here. Body press kills. And, uh, not a lot likes taking body press here. Which is... Uh, I think the only thing is Noivern, but we outspeed and we kill with Ice Fang, so I'm fine with going for Body Press here. I think he might go to Iron Hands, but even then, that's still fine. I think keeping Spirit there was good, because uh, he does have Heavy Duty Boots. He's really fast, which is fine with me. The only thing is that uh, Zamazenta is going to be able to recover, which is a little scary. I think uh, another plate, yeah, Iron Hands. It is not Heavy Duty Boots. Okay. Now, this play rough from this thing kill. I think I'll Iron Defense. Dren Punch does uh, very little. And now I can kind of just press Body Press here. Nothing like taking Body Press. Um, especially Overquill now, since I do have... Uh, at, I'm at plus three. So I think I'll just press body press. Doesn't get the kill. Press his drain punch. We should get the kill now. And we should outspeed uh, everything on his team. Even Noivern. Unless it's Choice Scarf. Which I think is the big scare here. So Zama gets a kill. That's good for it. Um, Noivern. Ooh, It isn't... It isn't... Um, Heavy Duty Boots, so it could be Choice Scarf. If it's Choice Scarf, I die here. And, uh, what do I do? It's Choice Scarf. Okay, so that's good to know. What can I do here? Uh, Overquill isn't chipped yet, so I don't see a... I think going max here. It's actually pretty good. Uh, I am gonna hone claws because uh, I think he's gonna try and switch to overquill and get the intimidate. Nice intimidate. Um, but I think we're gonna eat that up. Um, we could try and get the kill, but I think he's gonna switch. And this is choice scarf, so it's a little less damage um, for him. And I'm guard dog, so um, he has almost no counterplay to this.
Ooh. So it's gonna try and it's gonna try and oh, it's gonna try and scald burn me. And I should outspeed uh a pretty uh I think I just crunch. I don't get burned anyways, because I'm likes that. Um but no, what can I do here? There isn't really a, a very easy play here. And I think just uh, getting out my most powerful attack right here is good. So I'm going to just press crunch. I do at speed. That's pretty good. This Scald get the burn? It doesn't. We could crunch again to guarantee the kill. Because this isn't, uh, this is min speed uh, Manaphy. With leftovers. Yeah. Does he get the burn? He gets the burn. That's fine. Is that fine, actually? It- Oh, it isn't. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, uh... We kinda need, uh... I think a crit. Yeah. I- I think that's fine, because Manaphy is gonna get shipped down. What he might do is go Overquill. Um... I'll just crunch again for damage. Okay. I don't think that's good. I won't lie. But so far, I think I can just go straight into Cleopatra. Scald. Uh, um. I don't think he's really. If he goes over, cool, what do I do? I think um, it's becoming even harder and harder for Spencer to kill. I think I just pressed Calm Mind. Yeah, he goes over Quill. He's Intimidate. I think I do this. I think I sack Sparrow here. I can protect uh, for some scouting. Um, So far, he hasn't tried to do any hazards, which kinda sucks. Um, I think the only one who got frished. Yeah, let's see. Just go shut up crunch. We don't have anything to kill this. It's not really looking good for us. I think I could kinda check how Flygon does. No, I think we're I think we're gonna go Sparrow and sack him. Good idea. We go Spencer here. Uh, we Dragon Dance. He does reveal that we're Chapel and. Now it's really time to check the 70 to 80. Uh, we we DD we DD again. Yeah, as long as you don't get as long as he doesn't burn, we're good. So now we can just kind of press Dragon Claw here because uh, we outspeed everything on his team now, and he doesn't really have a switch in. Well, he doesn't have a safe switch in. Because Manaphy, while kind of good, um, he has to rely on Sleep Talks, and he dies to two Earthquakes. Wait, what? Wait, what? He outsped and killed? How? Wait, what? No. A plus two? I had... What? Oh my goodness. That's not good. 
I need, oh, that's not, yeah, I think I lose this now. Oh my goodness. I torched on, but so what? Yeah, it goes mana fear. here. I think we're fine to torch song again. Okay. I want to see how much damage this does. Just 45. Okay. We shadow ball. Uh. Now we slack off. Ah, uh, we don't win this, do we? We need, we need a little more slack offs. If slack off PP didn't get reduced, I think we could have won this. Just depends if Overquill kills us when he comes in. Because we heal 10%, so. Oh, we got a really high roll that time. Oh my goodness, that was such a high roll. Yeah, that's that's another low roll. She's fine. I think we want to get to a, a hundred again. I think we do it one more time. I think we shadow ball. Oh my goodness. We only have two more slack offs. And he gets the kill. Oh my goodness. We can't do anything. Can we? Just gonna have to hope that Crunch doesn't kill us. Right? Protect. Wow. Shadow Ball doesn't kill. Crunch. Did not kill. Gets the kill. Yeah. That's GG's. Sad to see, but, uh, I really messed up with the Noivern calcs. Oh my goodness, I messed up so hard with the Noivern. I shouldn't have sacked Zama there, I probably should have sacked Spiro. It's heartbreaking, you know. Uh, he didn't bring hazards like I thought he would, so my, like, five. Uh, it's such a sad sight to see. Now we really have to win, like, all these games. I have a tough schedule ahead of me. It's a tough feeling. Really tough feeling. Yeah. I messed up the the speed with Flygon, definitely. And, uh, I didn't expect him to sack Iron Hands really early. Uh, for Flygon to do anything that game, I need to, instead of... Need to, I needed him to have higher speed. I need two times speed to outspeed Noivern. Which I thought, oh my goodness. Uh, I feel bad. Cause that, that, that easily could have won. That could have went so different if instead I, instead of, uh, that's the, uh, sad to see, but, uh, you know, that, that's, that's Pokemon, you know. Hopefully we win next week, you know, life's tough, see you guys next time.